Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you want to become a member of my channel. There's a link. You can uh, click the link in the description box below or just click the join button. Um, and for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome or welcome back. Um, let me give you a couple of shout outs here. Neva Knightley, welcome. Divinely Guided, hello. Rocky Mills, welcome. So awesome to have you guys here. Let me just make sure we got everybody here. Okay. So those are the newest. I hope that I have called on all of you. I'm sorry if I haven't, but I'm, I'm, that looks like the newest people. Okay. So, um, yeah, if I haven't called your name, just leave a comment here and I will be sure to give you a shout out in the next video. Okay. So personal link for readings is in the description box below. And I'm also going to be starting some tarot classes, you guys. So I did post a poll in the community section. If anyone's interested, go over there and click yes. So I can try and get an idea of who might be interested in some courses. All right, you guys, let's get into this. Palm tree, not today. And photograph. Oh, she. Okay. Let's see. So starting with palm tree, stability, security. This is flexibility. This is all about flexibility, endurance, dealing with some stuff like going with the flow, kind of, you know, like a palm tree in the wind, you know, it doesn't break, it bends and it's better, it's better to bend than to break. Okay. So let's take a look and see what exactly is happening. Now, maybe you are someone who's acquainted with palm trees in some way. <clears throat> okay. So I feel like you're going to need to be very flexible in March, okay? Because there may be somebody here who's non-committal, or you might be non-committal, and you're trying to be flexible and just stay secure and just kind of be like, hmm, you know, we'll just see how things go. Um, there's some options that are showing up here for you, Virgo, in March, okay? So with those options, that's why I feel like you might need to just kind of take a look and just be like, hmm, uh, they're saying not to look at like black and white. Don't look at like, um, don't look at everything black and white. There's, there's something showing up here where you're going to need to like see all your other options, see what can be done or somebody else is, do, is doing that or someone else is being flexible with you. Um, you know, generally the seven of cups is really just a card of like non-commitment. It can be, or someone who's just kind of like, they have a lot of choices and they're just not really sure. So I feel like there's options and choices on the table being presented in March. Okay. And, hmm. Okay. Wow. Six of cups. So you may have someone who is kind of showing up in your life, <clears throat> coming back around and there may be an offer that's presented and a decision that needs to be made or there's a lot of choices a lot of options on the table need to figure out um what to do i feel like someone is very sincere here someone's showing up here very sincere and honest a lot of water so far okay so it looks like um this could be an emotional option or decisions that are being presented at this time let's see i feel like someone wants to be with you okay definitely here we'll find out who that might be it could even just be a friend kind of thing or a sibling uh something related to a sibling or or a friend okay let me see oh you got the lovers what there's a coming together here virgo there's a coming together making a decision trying to figure something out there's love here holy holy okay that is gemini energy there's definitely a love connection being made and i feel like this has to do with a love relationship of course um there's reconciliation with the six of cups or um a reunion or uh, someone's just like very nostalgic or you know there's sincerity there's i kind of like it so obviously it's not a love relationship with a sibling okay you weirdo let's hopeful Let's be hopeful that that's not what's going on. I mean, if that's your thing, you know, hey, whatever. We're not getting into that. But uh, there, there's like, I, I'm not, I don't, like, I feel like someone's making a decision about committing, you know, about like the lovers here, about coming into union. 
about being together okay um there may not be like a okay this is a definite yes but there is something like well i gotta look at all the options here i gotta see what's on the table i gotta, I gotta and and or i gotta be flexible um try not to be too hard-nosed about something here there's something that needs to be talked about obviously this may even be like if 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 you and another person want to get back together for some of you that's showing up here um but there's definitely a decision with the lovers and listen somebody said to me in the comments and you know i just had to get rid of that comment because like go get your own fucking channel like go make your own channel go do your own tarot cards you know don't come here and tell me well you, you don't know what you're talking about I, I don't always know what i'm talking about agreed however i know what i'm talking about here and i can tell you what the love to be in love should be a decision they're like well you can't help who you fall in love with well yeah you can you don't have to fall you don't have to make a decision to go with someone just because you fall for them and falling in love can be very dangerous because it means you're absent-minded and you're tripping over yourself you know what happens when you fall off a cliff you get hurt so you know if you have feelings for someone that does not mean like I say all the time, just because I have feelings for you doesn't mean we're compatible. Like I say, I love chocolate cake. I have a feel, a strong feel, y'all, for chocolate, moist chocolate cake with chocolate icing. And just because I like that doesn't mean I need to be indulging in that every day. You know what I'm saying? So falling in love is for the movies. Let's get our heads straight here. Be practical. Yeah, sure, it feels good, but I mean falling into a, a batch of alcohol for the night feels good too but the next day you might be like oh that might not have been a good decision so i just need to put and set that straight like i've got rid of that person because i don't i don't need to be here and like this we're not here to debate right if you don't like it move on so this is a decision here there's a decision on the table with the lovers about coming together about being together about um taking something uh, like uh, to make a partnership being deeply in love and making the decision love is a verb making the decision taking the action to be together right okay so this is what's on the table in march and there's going to be a, 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 there's a requirement for flexibility in regards to this okay so like if someone is is like if there's like a coming back together and one person's like a, or both people are like oh we gotta think about this it doesn't mean it's a no doesn't mean it's a yes it just means that there's got to be some kind of communication or uh, flexibility or figure things out you know what i mean okay i think i've said enough can we move on please all right let's see what else does virgo need to know get virgo my hands are sweaty probably because i had a rant i had me a little rant so you guys can follow me on facebook i have a facebook page I started not that long ago, but I haven't really been using it. So click on my link tree. That'll take you right to it. You can follow me on Instagram as well. Okay. I just saw I just saw um, the chariot. Okay. So, but it, it didn't pop out. But there was, there is an energy of movement and progress. Okay. So that's a good thing. Okay. So first court card, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, hmm. So when I look at the Queen of Cups, masculine or feminine energy, uh, she's like, of course, looking at her little robot, Rosie the robot. She's looking at her little robot there and like checking her, checking her feelings. Like, hmm, how do I feel about this? Yeah, there's a, there's a like a big kind of decision or something here that's being made about whether to commit or not. Okay, uh, somebody wants this. So that could be your energy, Virgo, where you're just like, hmm, I'm not sure. Let me just go in the vault. <laughs> let me check the emotional files and see how i feel about that some of you might be like oh yeah you're you've had your a lid on your feelings for a while you haven't want to open up and express some of you might be like do i want to open up to this person express how i feel let the let the waters flow um or do i want to stay closed off to this let me see oh my gosh i mean holy like there's so much thinking there's so much like taking stock and trying to figure out so it's either you or somebody else or both and this is like hmm do we want to invest do i want to invest in this do i want to make something happen here um maybe looking at the money too that could be like you know 
there's a financial so it feels like it's kind of like a financial decision more so not so much whether somebody loves someone but more of like how we're going to do this financially okay so that's pretty reasonable i mean i think that that's like so do what financially i mean um bring our finances together being you know because when you get in a relationship or even if there's marriage or whatever or a secret union you know you're together there some the finances like even even some people are like i don't want to date because i can't afford it right now you know i can't afford to pay for dates or something like that um so i feel like it's it's like kind of taking a look at the money it not necessarily have anything to do with love i really don't feel like it's a question of love it feels more like with the seven of pentacles it's a question of the work that needs to be put in or it's all like it may even be like um awaiting energy or delaying things because there needs to be some um things need to be examined okay so let's see okay five of cups hmm hmm why is this here oh okay they just said that somebody's taking a look okay if, if i don't take this am i going to regret because i might lose it if i don't take so this feels something to do with an opportunity being presented in march and you know the window of opportunity eventually closes so it's like okay if i don't take this opportunity if i don't so it, it's either it's either so it's basically like if i don't somebody's like if i don't take the opportunity i might be really sad or i might regret not taking it it might be a loss or it, it might be like i the person doesn't want to be with me anymore or that's like it's not going to be on the table anymore this is kind of what i feel like is going on so you've got somebody here you are another person who is really investigating here and really putting some like taking something seriously okay somebody's taking something seriously about connecting being together whatever it might be it's like it's like kind of like okay well if i decide to do this not just it doesn't have to be you it could be the other person but like if i decide to do this i need to figure out first how what that's going to look like that's kind of what i'm that's what i'm feeling like what that's going to look like okay um i need to seek truth to how that's gonna how that's gonna fit how or how we're gonna fit together right so it's a serious it's being taken seriously because i kind of feel like the love is already there do you know what i mean like the, the emotions and the feelings so you leave a comment and tell me like if this resonates for you what exactly it is okay because there's some unknowns that somebody's not it's not that they're somebody's not sure that they love another person i don't feel like that is the issue there's a lot of deep emotions for someone that maybe they keep a lid on but it's like somebody's like i need more information somebody's seeking more information okay yeah to have this beautiful outcome you know seeking more information about either creating a family together or um like being in a loving supportive relationship and, and whatever that might entail but it's also like the finances too i feel like somebody might be looking at their bank account or or two people okay like how are we going to do this for some of you it might just be like bringing your families together you know um for others it's it's like uh, getting into a committed long relationship um let me see is there anything else that virgo needs to know okay so you got the devil <laughs> there's definitely a desire to not let go um there's definitely attraction between two people with the devil card this is like a little obsession like don't want to be without another person but there's a lot of things on the table i feel like that are coming up and if you get the magician i like i won't be surprised okay okay oh all right well there's the six of swords so uh, this for some of you this could be um, making some this is making a transition from one place to the other for some this is a necessary transition that like needs to happen in a relationship 
to move something forward. For others, this has to do with relocating, moving. So it could be relocating, living together, moving in together, moving away from each other, which, yeah, I don't know. Someone's really trying to suss this out. So I really feel like the overall message, like I'm not going to give you an absolute income outcome, <laughs> but I am going to tell you that the advice here is to be flexible uh, try not to worry. I think it's something that needs to be discussed about this reconnection kind of thing. Um, and needs to be like the heart needs to be checked. The money needs to be checked. Everything needs to be checked to be like, you know, can this work? Okay. And I feel like either that's you doing this or the other person or both. Okay. So right now you have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call person boundaries, still angry. Okay. What's going on there? There we go. You're not like taking the phone call. Are you not taking a phone call? Okay. So, hmm. Okay. So there's a King of Cups showing up here. Or that's your energy showing up here. But there's a King of Cups who's kind of like, it looks like, is avoiding a conversation Putting up some boundaries may, may even be angry. Um, not dealing with something. I know it could be avoiding conversation with you or it could be with someone else or you could be avoiding a conversation or um, with a king of cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But it looks like somebody might be away. Or not taking some calls. <clears throat> okay, pushing back. Okay, so Virgo, if you're calling someone or uh, trying to have a conversation with someone and it's getting like you're being incessantly calling or whichever, this person is like either taking their phone off the hook or they're just letting it ring. Um, they might be pushing back or feeling like you're being clingy. If that's the situation, Virgo, reel it in. Reel it in. Go outside and play basketball. Go do something. Reel it in. Um, now, if this person is doing this to you, you could be feeling like, oh, I don't want to talk to this person. You could be defensive or just like, for whatever reason, just kind of like, stay back. Everybody stay back. Or telling this person to stay back. Okay, so it's one or the other. Now, let's see, like, why? Oh, let's see why. What's going on? Okay. Hmm. Somebody's blocking for sure. And somebody's holding on. Okay, let's see. Somebody's very greedy. Being very greedy. Okay. I cannot get my cards out today. I don't know what's going on with me. Okay. Somebody's trying to heal from something, Virgo. For sure, yeah, with the star. They're trying to renew or recharge. Um, so somebody might be like kind of just pulled their energy back. They're, they're pushing back. It may be just on you or it could be on a bunch of other people because I feel like they're trying to recharge at this time, like with the star, you know. Um, the, the star always represents to me like energy and somebody's trying to regain energy. It could be you because we know how Virgo, we know how you do. You're like, you're good for the social interaction, but at some point, some of you like a ton of it, some of you are minimal with it, but whatever the re whatever it is, you're like, okay, I've had it now. I need to like go and, I don't know, go to the spa, <coughs> recharge. So if you're trying to reach out to somebody, Virgo, and they're not responding, it's just because they want some alone time or they're just pushing back or they're not available, whichever it is. I don't know whether that's right or wrong for you. I just know that th this is this is what's happening here, at least what I feel. Okay, somebody could be traveling. There could be like communication over the internet, the World Wide Web is what we like to say. Or somebody's like just kind of like leaving everything behind and just moving forward at this time. Could be, tr like I said, traveling. The world is definitely, um, somebody could be in school and they can, they're not available to talk. Um, trying to complete some kind of goal or doing something. Um, let me take a look here. See, now that's Aquarius there. Okay, for so for some of you, there could be like a Pisces or Aquarius Pisces cusp that you could have this connection with. It could be you. 
All right. Ooh, there's something here about. Okay, for some of you, there's there, somebody's avoiding commitment. They might be, or just avoiding talking about it. For others. There is an energy with the Hierophant because that can represent institutions um, or there might be like conform, like an energy of somebody needs to conform. I don't feel like, I don't feel like somebody is like rebelling from conforming. I just feel like, um, oh, they just said somebody could be in the hospital. Yeah, and they're just not able to communicate, you know, or they don't have, uh, or they've gotten hurt or something, you know, in March. So, or somebody gets hurt in March, okay? The Hierophant is also all about boundaries and strict regulation, rules and order. Um, hmm. And they're just giving me the word routine. Somebody's in some kind of routine. Okay, let's see. All right. Hmm. Um, now, there is an energy here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant that somebody may receive a new job. They're not available. They're working. They started a new job. You or another person. There's also an energy of like an opportunity is being presented and somebody's pulling away from that opportunity at this time. Okay. And they're not, somebody might be trying to sell someone uh, something at this time. But I feel like if you've got somebody here that's not taking your calls or not talking to you in regards to some kind of opportunity and it could have something to do with commitment or marriage, this person is kind of like pulled their energy back. They're not, they just... They're not dealing with it right now in March. Now that could be in the sense of like, because they need to think about it, or they could just be uh, not, uh, they don't have it on the top of the priority list right now. Okay. So they're just kind of like, you know, pushing back on whether or not they want to accept the opportunity. Okay. Um, so like I said, that could be a job offer. I don't know that someone is undecided. I just feel like maybe somebody, like it doesn't feel like running away either. It's just like not available at this time. They might be missing the boat, you know? This person might not even realize that this, because that Ace of Pentacles is like, holy wow. There's like a promotion or investment, new income um, in, the, in terms of a relationship, a new opportunity. Okay, look at that, Three of Swords. Wow. I feel like Virgo to tell you the truth. Like if you, if someone like you could be the one who's like, now nah, I'm going to have to break somebody's heart. This isn't what I want. Virgo, you might be the one. You could either be presenting the opportunity or someone's presenting it to you. And you're not trying to deal with it or you're not trying to hurt someone's feelings. So you're not answering, but there could just also be like, you might have to tell somebody, no, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. Now, somebody could be doing that to you too, Virgo. Um, they might decline an opportunity, a new opportunity that comes in um, and want to just keep everything to stay the same. Okay. Now, is that related to this? It kind of sounds like it could be, but I feel like it might be a 50-50, but I don't. I wasn't doing an outcome reading to this, okay? Now, somebody could also be, this could be somebody that they're, they have another connection with because a new opportunity with you has sprung up. Yeah, I'm going to say that. I have to say that. Somebody here could be putting up a boundary or not dealing with someone else, you know, and saying, no, I don't want that stay away not answering their calls um if, if there's another person in like say this king of cups life they it's very well they could be like you know i just got a new opportunity and i'm sorry i i, I don't i have a new option i don't want to you know they might be breaking up with somebody now for some of you that's possible okay so you're just gonna have to let that play out hopefully virgo it's not for you but, you know, life is life and it happens. I wouldn't wish the worst on you ever or anyone, but I think life is life. So uh, it's hard to be very specific and I'm sorry, that's my fault. But I do feel like this might cause a little bit of confusion for you if you're kind of lost. Hey, guess what? Shit happens. I do feel like, though, there is this energy 
happening in March also, and it could be related to this where someone might like, you know how, I kind of feel like someone might not be answering a call, you know, like how like a sweepstakes calls and says, hey, you've won a million dollars, but this person is just not available to accept that call and then they, oh shit, they screwed up. I don't know, Virgo, if you're offering an opportunity, like something amazing to someone that you think is amazing, and they're angry, or they're uh, or not dealing with, they want to deal with you, or they're hurt, or you're trying to apologize to someone because of some kind of breakup and make up, like it's a breakup makeup kind of thing, I can tell you that I don't think this person is ready to talk just yet in March, and you know, whatever, they, they got to do what they got to do. Let's move on to photograph, okay. Somebody's looking at your photos, Virgo. Missing you, nostalgic, wants to make new memories. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Whoo! I just saw somebody cutting. I don't know who would cut photos um, because I think photos are just now digital. I don't know. If you print photos, somebody's <laughs> cutting your picture out and hanging it on the wall like a shrine. I don't know. That's weird. Let me get these cards out of the way. Okay. So let's take a look here. Oh, okay. Somebody's stealing. Somebody is stealing. Like, all right, they just said. Somebody's stealing your pictures. So what the hell does that mean? I don't know what that means. Okay, I'm just going to say that. I'm going to put that out there. Maybe you know exactly, exactly what that means. But they just said... Tell Virgo someone is stealing their photos. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Tell us more, Spirit. Tell, tell Virgo more. What the heck is going on? What messages do you have? Oh, okay. I was going to say that right at first, but then I was like, hmm. I also heard that... Um, Someone's trying to, like somebody's, either you're looking at somebody's photos or they're looking at yours and they're, somebody's trying not to. They're, they're trying to stop. <laughs> somebody's trying to stop because it, it like, I don't know. It's like they're struggling here. They're struggling. Now, if somebody's stealing your photos and that's like, you know what that means. I feel like um, they're hiding them in boxes or hiding them. Maybe you, you have a photography studio or, or you sell frames, prints or something. I don't know. I, I'm kind of just getting that kind of gist, but they're kind of doing it behind the scenes. So I really feel like I'm not going to go too deep into that storyline, but I really feel like if that makes sense to you, um, you need to like really check, check and recheck if, if you, you know, or even if you have like photos that are on, like you sell them or there's something digital, make sure you have copyright attached to those in some way. Okay. Um, or something along those lines. Okay. So back to what I was saying here. So far it feels like there's a, oh gosh, there's a person that is struggling looking at your pictures. So I don't know if they're like struggling, like it's affecting them mentally. Let me just say that. And they're trying to stop. And so it's because somebody misses you, you know, and they love your photos, but they're missing. It's making them feel stuck, restricted, trapped mentally to, to, to have like some kind of mental struggle. They're thinking the worst here and they're like even sabotaging you know themselves i don't like i don't maybe somebody's in jail let me see this is the weirdest message or somebody's going to jail for getting caught and is gonna have to pay a fine if they get caught okay king of pentacles knight of pentacles here's a magician the four of swords okay This, this, this ish is just the weird, this is weird. Okay, so I really feel like somebody definitely is missing you and it's hard for them to look at your photos but they keep looking at them. They're trying to stop though because there's something about it. Like, I don't know if they're obsessed or what's going on, but they're, they're like, they're thinking about the past or the, it's reminding them 
of something to do with the past. Okay. So with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like there's, it could be a, an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And I feel like this, or a Gemini, I feel like this person really wants to make something happen with you, but they're, they're they, first of all, they're going really slow. They're like taking their own sweet time to do this. However, the reason why is because they're feeling insecure. They're feeling insecure by what they're seeing. I don't know what that means. What does that mean for you, Virgo? Like, I don't, they're, and I also feel like they're kind of hiding looking at your pictures, right? They're trying to maybe gain some information and they're getting some information. Maybe they don't have the full picture, so they're just trying to make shit up in their head. I don't know. And that, and it could be you, Virgo. You know, it could be you. And they want everything, like they're trying to get everything out on the table to find the truth so they can relax. Okay, there's a chariot. What is going on? Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Spirit's talking to me. Cancer energy right there. This person is like, oh my gosh. No, wait, okay. So they just said that, um, okay, they just said tracker device. I'm not going into that. I don't know what the hell that means. Tracker device. What the hell? A tracker device? On, like maybe on a vehicle? Okay, for some, definitely let me know what's going on there. But, you know, the cancer energy is action and change, okay? Or the chariot, I'm, I mean to say. There's a decision. There's a, somebody's making a decision here based on like these, like they can't, they're in turmoil. Somebody is in turmoil because they look at your photo or they look at, or they're looking at your photos or they're missing you. They want to make a new memory with you, right? Create new memories. Look, I just noticed this. This looks like like an autographed, like a signature autographed photo. Photograph, I don't want you. So... Somebody might be, I know, I don't know. I don't know if you do, do you do something or do you sell, do you sell like cards or things that have signatures or autographs on them? Either yours or somebody famous. You might do something like that. And somebody's trying to like, you know, e either they want to buy or they don't have enough money or they're going to try and, I don't know how you can steal them. I guess you could like, I don't know how you could do that there might be an imposter so I kind of feel like that like when I look at the magician here and I guess they're taking me back to that when I look at the magician here this kind of feels like someone's like a little bit of a hustler you know what I mean like Chris Angel kind of stuff you know magician it's entertainment like there's something going on here that I feel like you need to be aware of okay um yeah, they're taking me they're taking me down that. Maybe that's not going to resonate and that's fine because it's pretty much the end of the reading. Maybe it's not going to resonate for you if you're thinking of getting into a business where you're signing things or you're selling things that are signed. So make sure something's not like an imposter or fake. You might need like some kind of seal of approval or something. Um yeah, but I do feel like there is a little bit of love stuff going on here, like relationship. I do feel like someone does want to manifest something with you based on what they're seeing in your photo, but they're trying to get, I just heard a siren. They're trying to get more information about you. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I should feel creeped out or, or not. I, I'm not really sure, but there is an energy of kind of doing it in like secret a little bit here. Like, no, no, it wasn't me. I, I've been sleeping. I was taking a nap. That's my alibi. I'm not looking at anything. No. You might have a hunch that somebody is though, somehow, some way. Okay. That either somebody's looking at something or they're trying to take something. All right. Well, things are going to start moving pretty quickly. Let's take a look and see. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Seven of Swords. Listen, <clears throat> I don't know what this situation has to do with, right? I can't pinpoint it. They're saying it's either theft of actual material products or a thief of hearts. But 
there's a little deception going away, going on here. And it has to do with your photo or your photos. Somebody might be wondering if you if you're really if that's really you in your photos, right? Um, somebody might be trying to get at the truth. Somebody's trying to, to, there's something here to do with authenticity, photographs, images, truth, signed, sealed, and delivered, theft, insecurity, and trying to change something here. And it's, it's, it's very, very convoluted. Let me see if I can pick up anything. What else, what else does Virgo need to know here in regards to this? Okay. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Okay, safe. That that makes me feel like like a bank. There's an obstacle to abundance. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm leaving this alone. Because you know what, you guys? I, like... Ugh. This could be for anybody. This really could be for anybody. And you're going to have to let me know. But all I'm all I really feel like is... There's a little bit of deception going on here. And someone is like, someone's trying to run away. Someone's trying to take something, you know, um, or try to get some, or try to verify something, some truth about something here. Okay. And I don't know if it's related to this, if there's a decision they need to make. It could be. And it may not be a connection, but it is a connection to you because either there's photographs or pictures that are missing or someone is missing you and they want to have kind of like create something new with you. But there there's this. This per, whoever this person is, they're, they're a freaking mess. They're like super, super confused. Now, Virgo, if it's you and you're trying to buy something authentic, but you could very well be like, you know, I don't know if this is the real thing. You know, I don't know if this is, maybe that's your business or maybe you do something like you go looking for antiques or something, you know, or maybe you find something that you find out was stolen. Yeah. Yeah, Virgo, this, this probably is the most convoluted message I think I've ever given on my channel here. All I can say is watch out for deception watch out for the things that you put out there make sure that you've got some kind of seal make sure you have some something notarized or copyright or something that is like authentic <clears throat> um that you have that it's covered either by insurance or something that you're doing or if you find something like that you know same thing make sure that whatever you find is like the real deal okay and that you hold on to that right um yeah, that's, that's just so messed up. Okay, I'm going to pull some Chinese. Where's my deck? I'm missing like my entire Chinese. Oh, here it is. I want to pull some Chinese uh, Zodiac to see you and another person. You and or them. Let's to see who's significant in your life at this time. If you don't know your Chinese Zodiac, just look it up online. You just have to put in your your month day and year of your birth okay so starting with year of the rooster Ooh. year of the snake year of the dragon double dragon there year of the horse year of the dog year of the goat year of the tiger and year of the rat okay so this might be you and them or just you or just them or and if it's not if you don't even sweat it it doesn't you know it doesn't change the reading okay if it resonates it resonates i just want to get a couple of these chinese little signs here oh all right Ooh, what a way to go jealousy watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish oh yeah and yeah, I don't know if that's connected to that very last reading I just gave, but I do feel like, um, watch yourself, Virgo. Watch what you, watch what you give out. Okay, hold on. There was a card that flipped. So you also have society in March. is going to be significant. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles 
will be the result. Oh, okay. If you're single as a Pringle, but you're ready to mingle, March is it. Get out there and do it. As my mother-in-law used to say, get to it and do it. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Just do it. Tough and trying times. Tough times ahead. Think long-term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. All right, Virgo. You got your message. You know what to do. Let's get some... Let's get some uh, numbers here. Okay, September 12th, August 31st, as usual. Someone's name starts with the letter V. Someone's name starts with the letter R. Uh, 1961, or someone is 61. Hold on. Okay. Someone is 48. Someone's 59. Uh, Avra. Ava. Somebody's name. Somebody drives an RAV. A RAV. RAV4. I don't know what number they're up to now. RAV. Okay, some of y'all need to get your butts to Valvoline and go get your oil changed, like seriously. Who likes The Verve? The Verve? Do you remember that band, The Verve? I think that's what they were called. Um, watch out for Xi Jinping this year. That's a I'm making a political prediction here. Um, something to do with the vax. I know I shouldn't go down this road, and I'm not gonna, but I'm just saying. Watch out. Something to do. There's a connection between China and a vaccine. That's all I'm saying. All right. Um, August 27th. I don't even remember what songs were by The Verve. The Verve? V-E-R-V-E. -E. Um, somebody has like a nerve. They just said somebody has like, I don't know if it's neuropathy or somebody's got like a nerve thing pinched nerve or um, some nerve pain that they're dealing with right now. Avril. They just gave me the name Avril. Why did everything like turn pink all of a sudden? All right, I pulled them all. Okay, someone's born in October. Significant. Or something significant happened in October. Okay, we have September 21st. 1971. 1975. Age 54. February 14th, Valentine's Day. Something significant happened on that day. Uh, somebody's in limbo. <sighs> the letter L initial. The letter L. The letter M. The letter B. You need to take your vitamins, your v, B vitamins, but they're also saying something about B1. You need some B1. I don't know what that is. Someone's 32. 1987, 1984, someone's 41. Okay, the letter O. Um, someone thinks you're a 10, Virgo. Whoa, that's nice. Um, I'm just hearing Leonard or Lenny. Leonard, okay. Someone lives in, so they're giving me LA, which would be Los Angeles, but then they're also saying Louisiana. They just said LA, so it's one of the, one of the two. Um, Somebody is in uh, Virginia. I'm also picking up, oh, they just said Albuquerque. Just heard Albuquerque. Someone's name is Bella. Um, I'm getting Boston. Someone's in Boston. Uh, someone it lives in Montana. So obviously there's a U.S. states. Um, Alab now they're saying Alabama. Someone's in Alabama. Okay. Um, Estonia. And I'm also hearing um, someone's in Ireland. Um, and so they're giving me that old song now by Eminem and Rihanna. I love the way you lie. And so he's like, I don't love the way you lie. I'll fucking block you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> maximum cursing today I don't know what's going on um, okay LAX I just heard LAX are you getting on a plane oh now they're telling me Lexi somebody's name is Lexi okay uh, somebody are you listening to Guns N' Roses like for real maybe you're listening to some old Guns N' Roses song that might be like your maybe that's your workout song <laughs> your workout music welcome to the jungle <clears throat> okay let's see 
Give me a September birthday, please, spirit. September 2nd. Holla. <clears throat> also August 28th. 24th. 20, I think I said 27th. 23rd. Okay. So we've got Gemini showing up here, you guys. Some Gemini energy. Leo. Cancer. And Aries. Okay, so this could have something, some kind of connection. Let's get a couple more. Okay, double Taurus, Aries, and Leo again. That's total fixed sign energy right there. And Gemini again, Leo, Aries, and Scorpio. Okay, so you may have connections to some of those signs. Just heard September 4th, they just said, September 10th. And a little charm, and then I'm going to send you off on your way. Don't forget, you guys, to hit subscribe on the way out of this video. And um, become a member of the channel. Yes, my lovelies. And watch out for the courses coming soon. If you're interested in, if you're interested in um, having some tarot lessons and you know, have some other goodies, like, you know, how to build a YouTube channel, perhaps you want to start doing that. Um, I'm going to start putting that together and offering that to you guys. Uh, people have requested them. I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I think we should do it. Okay. So I looked at all the other charms. I feel like this is pulling me the strongest. So we're going to take a look at, hold on, let me get a, let me get a card so you can see it. So you do have a, the yin yang, the yin and the yang. Okay. So there is, um, they just gave me, a, they just said, um, they gave me that pull up dual song, Opposites Attract. I don't know if that will resonate for you, but there is some kind of connection here where there's like a yin and a yang connection where two people are like, they're complete opposites, yet they need each other to, to function, I guess, you know, like, like one half of the yin doesn't matter, like the op, like the black and the white, the negative and positive, like the. They're, they're, they just go together. We go together like rama lama lama. Da -ding -a -da -ding -da -ba. So there may be a yin-yang connection to you. There could be a yin-yang connection to somebody else or to both people. I don't know specifically. And this could be anything. Like you see the yin-yang and you're like, ding, that's me. Okay. If, the, if you're just looking at that and you're like, I have no idea. If you don't know what the yin-yang represents, go look it up. Right. Um. It's, it's just really basically like light and dark energy that, you know, light can't exist without darkness, right? I mean, unless, like even up in, like it, even in Antarctica, like it, it'll stay dark for a long time and then it'll stay light for a long time. There's always going to be the darkness, right? Light can't exist without darkness and darkness can't exist without light, you know? Right? Isn't that right? Is that right? I'm pretty sure that's it. I mean... two people who complement each other but then there's also could be a struggle you know all right i'm not going in depth with that i'm just going to leave that there the yin yang represents you in some way some force somehow um this would most definitely be more of a qualifier as you're you're reading like maybe there's a tattoo or maybe there's a sticker on your car maybe you practice martial arts or you're into zen or you know you maybe you're in asia and that's prominent in a certain area or just maybe where you live i, I don't know whatever it is there you go so yeah i'm gonna leave that reading there i hope you enjoy that definitely book a reading with me if you want to get a personal like a one-on-one -on -one phone call reading or a text you can do a text reading Lots of new stuff coming up. I'm not going to go into it here, but thank you to the mods. Thank you for joining the channel. I greatly appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Bye. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.